Hey, you doing? It's me, the American Survivor. Uh, just a little back note. In on June thirteenth, two thousand eighteen, I was involved in a trucking accident down in Georgia, on I twenty. Um, anybody down in the Georgia area on twenty that day? I am really, really sorry for the delay. It wasn't my fault. The guy in front of me was uh, driving a box truck, and he had augmented his truck to pull a flatbed trailer, and they didn't do a good job. The trailer ended up breaking off, blocking the highway, and I kind of exploded through it with my rig. Um, I'm lucky to be alive. It's what everybody says, and everybody says I'm blessed, that I had somebody looking out for me. Well, if that's true, then by now my guardian angel is an alcoholic. Um, you see the trucker hat I got on. I'm an American, obviously, by the name. And I'm proud and I love my country, so. Socialism? Never. It ain't happening. You can try, but I know myself, my family, my brothers, and a lot of other people, we're going to fight you. I'm sorry, that's the way my brain goes. I jump from thing to thing. Anyhow, it's been a little over nine months, almost going on ten. And every day is a struggle for something new. That's why I'm doing this video. It's not to brag on, you know, how blessed I am, but maybe give somebody encouragement to, you know, fight your own fight. Every day it's something different. Every day it, it's, it's something new and it's something frustrating. And I've just recently got over myself and my stubbornness and listened to my doctors. It took going down to a neurologist and being tested. Now, you know, next week I'm going to get a, an MRI done on my brain. It's the only part of my body that hasn't been scanned, x-rayed, whatever. You know, um, I ended up with five broken ribs, a collapsed lung. I tore the muscles in my chest when I was down in the hospital and they dropped me on the uh, CAT scan bed because little girls wouldn't listen to me, but hey. You know what? That's all part of it. I uh, did a good job on my skull, too, as you can see. That looped all the way up around here and went in, and that was all pulled back to my skull. Um, fortunately, I didn't crack my skull, you know, and get into the brain, but I, I did a good job of bandaging it, banging everything up. And they did a great job down there at uh, the hospital of putting me back together, and the nurses were great, and I love them a lot. Anyhow... That's me. You can Google me if you'd like. You know, I-20 accident, June 13th. You'll see the picture. Um, somehow, in the picture, it shows my trailer sitting on the side of the road because I was in the left-hand lane in the median, and then my truck laying over on its side in the median. But if you zoom in real close, you're going to see that the body of the trailer and the frame are separate. They're not there. When I hit that flatbed trailer, I cut the top of my truck off the frame. And if you look again, like a buddy of mine had pointed out the, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving a day cab. I wasn't driving a day cab. In fact, I was driving a sleeper. And there's nothing left to everything behind the back of my seat. That's the damage that happened. It closed down I-20 for five hours. It took them the better part of an hour to cut me out. Um, I tore up my, uh, my left shoulder a little bit right here, this thing. Um, it was, uh, I thought it was broke. Or I thought that um, at least I had a torn rotator cuff. I didn't. It's basically um, what they call a dysfunction. <laughs> It's a buku boo boo, but I'm getting physical therapy for it. Hopefully, I don't need any surgeries or anything like that. I gained a ton of weight because for the first few months, I lived here in my my recliner back here, this thing that I'm sitting in, and because I couldn't sleep in my own bed. When I finally did get up there, I had to get a special pillow that put me on a 20 degree angle because I couldn't lay flat. Um, now I've gone from just having asthma to advanced COPD. Okay, I'm going to wait and hope that all that blood that gelled in my lung gets reabsorbed back into my body and the COPD ain't that bad. 
Um, I know I'm starting to ramble and I apologize for that. It's just really difficult trying to get everything in and say what you want to say when your brain bounces all over the place. I'm doing this video like it says in my about me because they wanted me to keep a diary and by the time I think of it up here and get it to right here and put it out on paper, yeah, I forgot it. It's frustrating. It really is. And if any of you are going through that, it's okay. You're never going to be the you that you were. You got to face it. I did. I mean, look at me. My hair's starting to grow back. That's because I decided after the accident, when they told me I couldn't do the things that I was going to do, that I was going to keep trying to shave my head. And twice, three times a week, I kept cutting myself and cutting myself and cutting myself because my body doesn't work the way it used to. Okay, I mean, get over it. Yeah, I didn't like hearing that. I really, really didn't. It's something that it's hard to take, especially being in my late 50s. But a dear friend of mine, Maria, down in Texas, gave me a call and talked to me a little bit. And thank God for her because I was able to do it and listen to her. And now... I'm just pushing every day. Biggest thing I can say is if you can't do anything or you don't think you can do anything, get up and go for a walk. For me, I love being in the outdoors. I love, I'm, I'm trying to learn to deal with the things that I thought I could do, like concerts and being around people. That's difficult. That causes panic attacks and just freaks me out. They say that's part of my PTSD, something I'll have to get used to. Anyway, just wanted to say hi, introduce myself, say, hey, I'm Druk. I'm the American Survivor. I hope you stick around. I'm going to make more of these videos, hopefully with some friends um, and myself. And if I can help one of you, we'll have a blessed day together. Thanks.